Hi guys, I hope y'all are having a magical day wherever y'all are in the world as you're watching this. I just finished up at the gym and I am headed over to the sporting goods store to um, check out um, some workout shoes and see what I can find. I have a tendency to go through the soles on my shoes pretty, I don't want to say super fast, but I always like um, to kind of switch them out and not always wear same, 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 same workout shoes to the, um, the gym. If you're new to my channel, I'm a certified personal trainer and group fitness instructor and I don't really train anybody right now. I've, that's kind of taken a back seat. I've been doing it for several decades and I want to kind of just take a break for me and just work on me. But when I was training and teaching a lot of fitness classes, it's like I would go through a lot of shoes and the soles of the shoes. So. I'm used to just switching out my shoes ever so often and this pair of Adidas that I have on right now um, I love them they're very comfortable but sometimes I don't like always having to wear like I said same same shoe and I kind of just like to switch it out a little bit so I'm running into the sporting goods store to see what I can find to report that at my second shoe stop guys I found my shoe and I will show you them when I get home that's where I'm headed now home have any of y'all seen the Netflix series you as in y-o-u Dan and I just finished season two and we actually we really enjoyed season one but we really liked season two. I don't know if any of you have seen it. I recommend it, especially if you like um, suspense, thriller. Um, it's, it's great. And I know some of you maybe have read the books. Um, I have not read the books. I just started watching the series when it came out. But Dan and I really loved season two and I don't want to spoil it for y'all but if you have watched it let me know what you think compared to season one and also what I will say is did any of you if you watched season two did any of you figure out love right away it was by the second episode that Dan had love she's the main female character of season two and yes, her name is Love, as in L-O-V-E. Dan had her character figured out probably towards the end of the very first episode. And when he told me his theory on her, I was like, oh, now that would be a twist. So, um, yes, before the second episode, he already had Love's character figured out. But if you've seen season one, season two, let me know which one you thought, you know, was was better, you know, or which one you liked. And if you haven't seen either, guys, and you have Netflix, I do recommend it. Um, it's just a, it's like a psycho thriller is what it is. So, it's good. And like I said, I am on my way home. And I got a shower, eat some lunch, and I got to get my storage containers out because I have the last bit of Christmas to put away, which is my linens from, um, I lay out like Christmas tablecloths during the holidays, and I use Christmas um, dish towels and uh, drying towels and, you know, a placemats and I've gotten all of that washed and squared away and now it's time for me to put them back in their storage containers so I need to do that also and I'll show y'all how I do that but yep I'm on my way home y'all remember Molly don't y'all if you follow me on Instagram you see her go potty 
She always has to travel really far. Go potty. Good job. Come on. You want a treat? Huh? Let's get you some. Hello. Can you say hello to everybody? She's like, Mommy, give me my snack. Can you sit pretty? Sit. Good girl. There you go. My lunch today consists of egg whites. I have about, about 12 egg, I shouldn't say about, I do have 12 egg whites in here and three cups of spinach with a little bit of uh, salsa on top and then a serving of oatmeal with a tablespoon of peanut butter. Today was a big lifting day for me at the gym. So guys, I am sitting down organizing my containers. Um, I said earlier to y'all that I, once I take down all of Christmas and I get everything put away, usually the last thing I do is um, get whatever placemats and tablecloths um, that I need to wash, washed, fold it, put off to the side and my wash towels, things like that. And then I like to store them into containers because that's just one way that I stay organized. I put like things into um, all my seasonal stuff into storage containers. And then that way when that holiday comes, I can just go into the container and grab out placemats, uh, dish towels, uh, tablecloths and um, do it that way. So I actually store them into these types of containers right here. And I have a lot, like I have Christmas towels, I have Easter, I have Thanksgiving, I have fall, I have 4th of July. Um, I don't have Valentine's because I don't I don't really decorate the house for Valentine's But I do like to decorate the house for Easter for spring and summer and then of course I like to decorate for fall and Christmas time so I definitely store them in containers and um, Like I just you know cleaned up all my towels for the holidays I got them washed and I know this may sound strange to some of you, but I like to iron them okay before i store them back into their containers and um that way when i go to take them out the following year they're already ironed and pretty and you know ready for me to lay out so um i just kind of like stack them in there and then i still have you know like i gotta put these away i got you know these I have my runners that I put out on the dining room table and in the kitchen table. This one's new that I got this year. I really like this one. And then I have a holiday placemats. My placemats, guys, I've actually had for over 20. Dan and I got them our first year of marriage, like these right here. I, I have had since the first year Dan and I got married for our first Christmas together. I actually got these at Garden Ridge Pottery back home in Texas. And then my sister-in-law, um, our first year of marriage, got me a whole bunch of these placemats. And um, she's my, um, like a big sister to me because she married my older brother when I was still a teenager. So she's like a big sister to me. And then I also got these at Garden Ridge too the first year Dan and I were married. So those placemats are just kind of old and um, I love them and I hopefully they'll last me a very long time and um, I just let sit, I love sitting them out every year. So yeah, so I just kind of put everything in the box and I will go on ahead and show you how I, you know, kind of do that.
Once I get everything stored away in their containers, I then bring it down into the basement, guys, and store it on these amazing shelves that my handy husband made for me. I'm very appreciative that he is handy with tools and uh, wood and can create storage space for me. But that's just where I store everything and I kind of categorize everything by theme and it's just easier for me to stay organized and I store Easter down in here. I store 4th of July, fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and wrapping paper. So yeah, that is where everything goes. Guys, really quick, I wanted to show y'all this because I have gotten several questions on different videos when it comes to my wreath making, where I store my wreaths. And what Dan does is that he just puts a nail into the frame of uh, the wood of the basement. And then I just hang them up along here. And with each holiday, I just come down here and um, take them down as I need. And then I have a little bit more on this side of the basement wall also. And then I just take those down too as I need them. That one's a Valentine's. I don't want to put it up this year because I want to do something different. I haven't really decided if I'm going to do another Valentine's one. But I know I don't want to put that one up this year. And then I have one there on the back door. So yes, he's great. Um, he's like, you should do a craft show down in the basement and just invite people over to come see if they want to buy a wreath. But I'm like, these are not for sale, honey. So guys, before I cut out of here and close out this video, I wanted to show y'all really quick the Adidas shoes that I went with because I said that I would, um, show y'all and my bangs are driving me crazy right now it's like i'm looking at the camera but i see my bangs and i'm like they need to get cut i cannot stand it when my bangs start hitting my eyelashes because it, it just starts irritating me i don't know if anybody out there who has bangs if you're like me when they reach a certain point you just have to get in with your hairdresser so they can whack them off and i have naturally thick hair so it's like my bangs start to weigh down and they start to get heavy and it, ju it just drives me crazy but i see her next week and yeah i'm gonna get a serious bang trim but anyway i got my adidas shoes okay and i currently wear the cloud foams that and I, these are cloud foams too i love this adidas shoe this is not the one I just bought. These are my current ones, but I love them because they are just so lightweight. Um, these, when I bought them and Dan carried the box, he was like, did you check to see if the shoes were in the box, honey, before you bought them? And I'm like, yeah, but that's how lightweight they are because I don't like a heavy shoe when I'm working out or even when I'm weight training. I do not like a, a heavy shoe. So, um, it was important to me that I found another light shoe and also that I found one that had this, um, cloud foam. So I bought these today. So they came like that in the box. I like that. And I wanted black because I already had white and I like neutral colored shoes because I have a pair of Asics that are blue, beautiful color Asic shoe and they're great but i would not wear like orange or green or red workout pants and wear like my blue asic shoe i'm somebody that's kind to have to i gotta match a little bit so i already had a white pair and white goes with everything and so does black so i wanted to pick up a black pair these are a little different then these, as far as the um, wider um, bottom, but these are also cloud form, fell in love with them. And they're right here. So uh, I tried them on and I loved the arch support that, this one says memory foam foot bed. And this is also a cloud foam. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that, but right there on the side. And I loved the arch 
in this one. So it's like the minute I tried it on, because I have a nice arch, it, it just gave me that padding. I still am nuts about these, as these have a great arch too, but I just wanted a different color and I just a little bit different look. I could have gotten these in black, but I wanted, like I said, just a little bit of different style. So I went with these. And if you've never tried Adidas Cloud Foam shoes and you're looking for a really lightweight shoe, I highly recommend this one. So I will be wearing these probably starting next week because it's supposed to rain here the next two days. And I really don't like getting new shoes wet but I also don't like getting my workout shoes wet, period. If it's storming outside and I'm going to the gym, I will actually wear my other shoes. And then when I get inside the gym, I will then put on my workout shoes because I really like just saving my workout shoes strictly for the gym and nothing else. So yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And um, thank you for all the suggestions that y'all sent me on Instagram as far as would, would y'all like to see going into 2012. Um, I loved hearing all of your suggestions. So hopefully you were, you know, somewhat satisfied with today's video. I know I don't do a lot of life videos with y'all, but I'm hoping, you know, to improve on my content for y'all based on what y'all shared with me on Instagram. So um, you can follow me on Instagram at Life in Disney, guys, or Facebook Life in Disney. But what I will tell you is, is that I post all the time on Instagram, specifically Instagram story, because um, it's quick, it's fast, and I can upload a video like that there, so yeah. But yes, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today at Life in Disney and spending time with me, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So till next time, guys, y'all take care, y'all have a magical day and a magical week, and I will see y'all later, Masketeers. Bye, guys.